Hi, I'm Vanessa with the Newport, Oregon Public Library, and I'm really excited to be part of this year's Marine Science Day. So some of you might already know that one of the most popular exhibits at OSU's Marine Hatfield Science Center is the Giant Pacific Octopus. Now the Giant Pacific Octopus is a really shy cephalopod, and sometimes it can be found off of our coast. Um, but if you're really lucky, you can spot one. And if you get to see an octopus, what? You see an octopus? Are you sure? <gasps> you do. Oh my gosh, we are so lucky. Hello, I'm Vanessa and, and these are my friends. Hello, I'm Octavia Octopus and I heard there were going to be fun things happening at Marine Science Day and I wanted to come and see. Are you here to see too? You are? Oh, it's so nice to meet you, Octavia. I was going to tell some stories to my friends today. Do you think you want to stay and listen to the stories with us? I would love to. Thank you. Well, okay, let's hear some stories. Anna and the Sea Star by R. Lynn Rolfs, illustrated by Jamie Hogan. Anna and the Sea Star. The tide ran away and left quiet pools on the beach. The warm sand kissed Anna's feet as she danced from one pool to the next. Anna stopped and gazed past her reflection. Papa, look, she said, a star. Papa bent down for a closer look. Careful, Papa, Anna whispered. Papa slid his hand under and lifted. The star with its five tapered arms filled his palm. Did it fall from the sky? Anna asked. No, Papa said. This is a sea star, an echinoderm. It's an animal that lives under the ocean's waves. But you can still make a wish if you like. Anna stroked one of the sea star's bumpy arms with a gentle finger. Pretty, she said. My wish is to take the star home with us. But the sea star would die, Papa said. It needs the salt water of the sea to live. Anna thought for a moment and then she said, I wish to be a mermaid and go with the sea star to its home under the waves. Papa smiled and said, that would be wonderful. But you are a girl who lives on the land and needs the air to breathe. Gulls chattered in the sky over her head. The salty breeze whispered in her ear. Papa waited quietly while Anna thought. I want the sea star to live, Anna said. Papa nodded. Anna waited on the beach where the waves tickled her toes. Papa waded into the water. Are you ready, Anna? He called to her. Yes, Papa. Goodbye, sea star. Papa gave the star back to the sea. He returned to Anna on the beach. Anna stared out at the waves. I still wish I could see the sea star's home under the water. Papa brushed her eyelids with his fingertips. I will help you see it. Anna closed his eyes. Papa's voice was soft in her ear. The end. And that was Anna and the Sea Star by R. Lynn Rolfs, illustrated by Jamie Hogan. Wow, that was a lot of fun. I'm glad I came and listened. Me too, Octavia, but I have to go back to the library and I bet you have to get back to the ocean. I do, but it was really nice to meet all of you. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. There she goes.